You are the boss of all the pit bosses. I need to stay on your good side. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Now, there's certain things as players we can do not to agitate you guys, but first, like, what is the job of a pit boss? The job of the pit boss is primarily to observe, to watch the goings on within the confines of your pit, your area of the casino. And so what's the number one thing they look out for? I mean, is it when people get like way too rowdy? Well, when people get rowdy, that that's an immediate attention getter. They'll they'll they're they're trained to look for that. It can be um, happy, or it can be aggressive. And and if people are aggressive, then we have to watch out for the welfare of our staff and for the welfare of the other players. If somebody is over the top, then we'll have to we're going to have to step in. They don't want to irritate you more. Well, they don't want to get on my bad side. No. Now I wish I could count cards. But I can't. Is that something that will flag the attention of a pit boss? That is something that will draw the attention of a pit boss, yes. Now why? Now card counting, it's not really illegal, is it? No, it's not illegal, but we have to take precautions to protect our assets. It's not illegal to card count, but we do take steps to limit their accessibility. How do you do that? Here at Mohegan Sun, we tell them that your minimum bet is your maximum bet, which means you can't bet more than the table minimum. A lot of times they'll come in with friends or in teams, as we like to say. Uh, and what they do is they'll, you'll have someone in the second row watching the game and tracking the action. They look around, they spot the table, they see an available seat, let me track these cards. Okay, this is a pretty good count. I will signal my friend and then they'll come over and then they can play. What we do is we try and take steps to make their time here as um, unpleasant as possible. I shouldn't say unpleasant as possible. What do you but, mean unpleasant yeah, as possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you mean, we know that. <laughs> You know, stealing, is that also the job of pit bosses to look out for? Oh yeah, even though we've got a great security staff here at Mohegan Sun, pit managers are always on the lookout for theft and possible thefts. Now what about for women in their purses? I mean like, you know, I always stick my purse like this right behind my chair, is that fine? No, far what? from it. But I'm leaning it. No, no, sit down, I'll show you. All right. Sit. Thank you. See, now you're playing. Yeah. You're playing blackjack. You're watching the cards, you're watching the dealer, you're talking with the other people. Okay. I'm a thief, and I just got your purse. So this seems safer here at the craps table? Well, you might think so. Once again on craps, your attention is focused towards the game, towards yeah. the staff, and you just lost your purse. So what do I do with this? I don't want to hang on to it all night. You're going to have to. If you're here at a crap table, keep it on your wrist and lean in like that. Like this? Yes. Either here, that. you do it. All right, I'll be your boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> Now, what about, I mean, you get a lot of free drinks in the casino. This is just Diet Coke, I promise. <laughs> All right, but what do you do if someone's drinking excessively and they become very aggressive in their behavior? That happens from time to time. People do overindulge a little bit. Uh, what we do is we, the pit manager will cut into them and say, would you like to go get something to eat? What we do is we, we take Are you gonna them. you going to pay for it? Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll come you. We'll usually get two or however many are in your party. Send them to the deli or to the buffet and let them sit, relax, have something to eat, and then send them home. Now, just winning big could get the attention of the pit boss, I assume. Oh, sure, all the time. But just because you're winning big doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. People have lucky days here, too. How do you know the difference? I mean, are they watching from these security cameras up here? Those security cameras watch everything. But they're trained, they look for different things. They look for faces, they look for different identifiers. They're on the lookout for anything dishonest. And they often will get tipped from another casino to be on the lookout for so-and-so, to be on the lookout for such-and-so. If somebody's winning big, we've got trained staff that can count cards. We call it running down a deck. What they'll do is they'll stand and they'll observe. If somebody's winning big, we just watch. We don't want to make anybody uncomfortable or drive them out of here. So we'll just count the cards ourselves. And if we, if we determine that the player's not doing anything improper, let them win. Bottom line though, somebody's always watching me here. Somebody's always watching me here. <laughs>